Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This one is going to be a size comparison video between the Chanel Reissue 226 Double Flap and the Chanel Classic Double Flap Medium to Large Size. When I was researching which bag I wanted, because I really thought I wanted the Jumbo, this video, these types of videos, size comparisons, were the most watched videos that I did because that's how I did my research. Aside from going into the store and trying both of them on, you don't really know. And everyone's, everyone is a different size and a different weight and a different height. So it's hard to tell what looks best on you unless you actually go into the store. And I did end up going into the store and trying on the jumbo and the reissue and that's how I chose the reissue. But this is a video comparing the reissue and the next smaller size down. So. I don't have a really good setup here. This is in my room, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the length here. The length on the reissue 226 is 11 and a quarter inches. The length on the Chanel Classic is 10 inches. The height here is seven because I just measured it. And the height here is six. The depth is about two and a half and it's about three and a half on this one. So let me just bring them closer and hold them up side by side so you can see the difference here. By the way, this is my brand new Chanel Chevron reissue in black distressed calfskin, the black hardware. This is my, I think this was um, 2015 or fall 2014, I can't remember. Lambskin, classic flap, black lambskin with ruthenium hardware. So, here are the bags side by side. The reissue does hold a lot more than the classic flap here. Um, I can probably fit my small umbrella in the in the medium to large but not much less look how much wider it is especially at the base down there this pocket i can't really hold put much just my metro card this po back pocket i can fit my um iphone 6 without a case and with a case i can fit it upright um let me let me go to the bottoms of these bags look how much wider the reissue is and the chain straps, let's see. You can see how much longer the reissue is and where they hang on me. This one obviously hangs lower. I can wear this one crossbody. I cannot wear this one crossbody. And if I wear each of these single flaps, This is how they look. Um, so I figured I would kind of do a what can fit in each of these bags to give people an idea of the capacity. Here's the inside. I have this compact umbrella. This umbrella, let me measure it for you is seven inches long so it's a small it's a small umbrella but I put that right in the bottom if it's if it calls for rain and it fits in there nicely with a lot of room to spare sunglasses wallet and then I'm just gonna pack some things in here so you can see the capacity tissues hand lotion I would not carry a second wallet but this is just to get an idea of what you can fit in here. Mirror, I got a lip balm. These are typical things that I would carry. Keys, I mean, I still have room in there. It's pretty full, but I still have room in there. If you watched the video that I just posted right before this, one of my cons about this bag, actually probably my only con, is this inner flap is really short. So you can't fill things up to the top 
and expect to close this because these reissues have more like a triangle shape. It's like you have to pinch the top to close this inner flap. But there's extra space up here due to this, the way this bag comes, it comes with this crease and this fold, which causes extra room up here. So if you don't care about not closing this inner flap, this outer flap easily closes without stretching the bag at all. So you can fit a lot more stuff in it. So all that stuff fits in here. Now it's a little heavy, but when I tried on the jumbo, caviar jumbo in the store and compared it to this one, I felt like the caviar jumbo was almost as heavy, empty as this bag was full. And that was a huge deal for me because I have shoulder and back muscle issues and I'm always cracking my neck and I can't have really heavy stuff on me anymore. So this is the bag stuffed. I can't put my cell phone in here, by the way, because I'm filming with it. Otherwise, I would have my cell phone in here or I might have it upright like this. So now I'm going to take all these things out and see what I can fit in my medium to large classic flap here. I'm going to start with the biggest thing first. Let me get these things out. And that is this umbrella. I would never usually carry this purse with this umbrella in it. I'm only doing this for purposes of this video to compare so that you can see what you can fit. The second most important thing I guess I would have or the most important thing I would have is my wallet. By the way, there's a piece of cardboard down in the bottom there in case you were wondering what that is. I made my own base shaper with a piece of cardboard. So that's all that is. So this is already getting full. So I'm gonna not put in that second wallet. I'll put in my tissues. Let's see. Hand lotion. And this baby is getting full now. Let me see if I can put in my sunglasses too. I may not be able to close it. Um, let me see. I can't close the inner flap. Actually, I could, I can close the outer flap, but I can't close the inner flap. And this is it stuffed. Now, items left over that did not fit, that fit into the reissue. A second wallet. Keys, which I probably might be able to squeeze in there. I might be able to squeeze this nap file in there too. Mirror and lip balm. So... I guess it doesn't seem like the reissue holds too much more than the medium to large, but I think I could have fit a couple other smaller things in the reissue also. So I guess, I don't know, the size difference. I thought the size difference seemed really significant. Maybe it's not. To some people, all of this is significant. Someone like me who doesn't really carry a ton, I guess this is significant. But like I said, when I carry this bag, I haven't carried my umbrella yet when I carried this bag, just because this is more of a special occasion now that I have this other bag. But, um, you know, these little medium large flaps still hold a decent amount, I guess. I think anyways, let me take this out. So here is the bottom, that cardboard base shaper that I made. It works nicely, keeps the bottom nice and flat. So there's how big that looks on the inside. And here's how big that looks. Significantly bigger, I feel like. I'm gonna do one more thing and I'm gonna try to pack this reissue as much as I possibly can. And then we'll really see just how much. I mean, I'm gonna put things like this in here. Stuff that I would never normally put in here and see like deodorant just for purposes of showing that it really does hold a significantly more amount than I'll put this in there too than the medium to large so now this is really full and I feel like I could still put something right here maybe on this little hairspray bottle okay so this is pretty darn full. No way would I be able to 
close that. I might not even be able to close the top flap, but let me see. No, can't close the top flap. So let's take this out, this out, and this out. So the only thing extra that I put in here was this tape measure, which definitely fits in there. And I know I'll be able to close this without a problem. It's just weird. There we go. So there you go. I guess, I guess it does hold quite a bit more than the medium to large, but um, it's definitely enough for me for an everyday bag. So, oops. <laughs> so anyways, let me um, take this out so I can close everything. I hope this video was somewhat informative and helpful because I know I was watching every single one of these size difference videos on YouTube before I bought this purse. And I definitely think that if you could only have one of these bags and you want more of an everyday bag, I would go with the reissue because this can go from day to night. If you are someone that doesn't carry a lot of stuff anyways and you're smaller in proportion, then maybe this would be the one that you would choose. This one you can wear crossbody, this one you can't. I love the look of this bag single chained and since I've gotten this bag, I haven't used this one, but I definitely feel, me personally, since I can have both, I'm going to keep both, um, but who knows, maybe down the road I won't use this one as much. I can't, I don't know, this one is so unique with the ruthenium hardware, I've never seen this combination before, so, you know, I have to keep it, but I only have one other Chanel bag now, and it's my 10-inch old medium boy bag. If anyone wants, I certainly can do a comparison between that and either of these bags also. Just request it in the comments down below. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope that it was somewhat helpful. And there's little Leo sleeping right there. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.